All right, I hope this comes out. I got a little microphone going to try this out and stuff. So golf swing is like a weight on a string. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about hand position and a little bit more clarity. So I'm going to come up a little closer so you can see this. I'm going to hit some balls so you guys can actually see. Everybody's been clamoring for that too. So when my hand hangs, it's one hand width away from my thigh, and I'm in correct posture with no tension in my arms. When you do that, Watch what happens. The left hand will automatically make this little quarter roll. If it doesn't, you're putting tension in the elbow joint and the shoulder. And you're trying to then, you have to now manipulate it some kind of way. So, see what I'm doing here? I'm not doing, this is hand action. We don't want hand action. This is wrist. So when I tell people throw a ball sometimes or feel a weight on a string, it's because this is nice and passive throwing a ball. You don't do this when you throw a ball, but for some reason, some people want to do that and that's not what I want because then the body doesn't respond. So watch again. Look at my left hand. It rolls quarterly. My right hand bends backwards. You can try this yourself. Just let your arms hang like an elephant and let the elbow bend a little bit and you'll see how your hands work. See? So that's, that's a golf swing. And then when they swing through, they square themselves up. So your hand hangs that's your grip. Don't try to ever cock, right? Now, previous videos, and when I talk about these kinds of things, I want you to understand that when I'm saying the pelvis goes up and down and all that, it does. It's but it's but I'm teaching people how the body responds. This is not really these are never leaders, right? Never really leaders. The club head swinging freely and the head staying on center with the chin rotating around xiphoid process makes now the hip go up. Then when I come back, well, of course my weight shifted left first because as wherever the club goes is where your weight goes. Now I'm trying to do this all without a golf club so you guys can clearly see the anatomy of these hands and arms. So as I'm swinging down, my weight plants into my left leg. Yes, the faster I swing my hands and arms to the target, not hands like that, arms as my arms swing to the target my weight will automatically shift because it's responding to the club wherever the club goes is where your weight goes see how my weight's on my toes weight's on my heels you guys have been told to turn that's dead wrong lift the arms no none of that right you might feel that right this shoulder you know, this shoulder doesn't move like that right so when these hands swing and when the golf club swings and the weight of the club swings over your shoulder you'll see there's my right shoulder everybody's all clamoring about being back behind you and all that hips here and then there I am at impact. You'll see this, I'll hit some shots, okay? So when the club is swinging freely, the faster that I do this, well then, the more that pressure will go into my left leg naturally, like cracking a whip, and then I will can snap it. So if I was a long drive guy, I'll snap this leg faster because I'm responding to this weight. Boom, and there goes my weight backwards, and I picked up 10 miles an hour. Now, a couple different things. I'm gonna show you a couple different ones, kind of fun. So I got different uh, apparatuses here. So we got a ball on a string that I made to get a feel. So if I sit there and I tried to just move my, that's hand action. That's not what I want. Never teach that. I'm trying to teach people to have passive wrists that move back and forth because of the correct grip or get them to feel like, okay, if I say I'm throwing a ball, my hand and arm would automatically do that. Not necessarily, though, because you guys like to kind of, your hand can do a whole bunch of different things, right? So when this thing swings back and forth, I make it look pretty easy. It's not. I made some different ones. This is an old uh, Sorenex gymnastic ring, big kind of thing I got from a CrossFit Games when I was back in CrossFit 2003, 4, 5, whatever. But I made a little rope around it, and now I can swing it over my shoulder, over my shoulder. This is still a weight on a string. Or, like Quan would say, fine, Dr. Quan, give him a little shout out, it's fine, right? Give, uh, what, Martin's got this little uh, club thing I got one time called the Pro. Love it. What is it? It's a weight on a string. It's a lightweight, right? So you're swinging this thing back and through, you're responding, okay? The faster that I go, then you see the speed of that, right? The more my body has to respond to that, right? Then like here again, here's Quan with a rope. So now you see the rope where you swing it over. And I see people try this and they try to lift their arms and, and stuff like that. See, so I'm wanting this. 
See? Like that. So all I'm doing, though, is letting these be soft and passive, and I'm responding to this club head swinging. Right? Stuff like that. So, another form of a weight on a string, and then an orange whip. Now, I see a lot of people buy these. I love this. I love orange whip because they have a counterbalance here. That other yellow one is crap because it doesn't have much weight right here at all. You want to counterbalance weight when you do this. So you can really feel this weight going this way while the club is swinging and bending. This is if Ernest Jones, great, great book, Swing the Club Head. Buy it, read it, right? Is this thing can now whip. So it's just responding, right? So... Hope you guys can see all this as I'm swinging back and forth. You'll see that the club is, I can go faster. Now, how do I go faster? Everybody's like, oh, well, how did you do that? Well, because I swung this weight on a string faster. Now, somebody says, oh, I only hit it a certain distance. Well, yeah, your legs will have to match a little bit, but what you don't want is like, okay, if I just do this, pretty. That is a weight on a string. How far is that ball going to go? Not very far, right? Because you want to swing it. Now, I'm never... Two places it goes wrong. A swing has to start as a swing. If it starts as a lever with hand action, it'll never swing. Then at the top of the golf swing, if you try to pull down or try to let the arms feel like they fall or try to turn, you're putting pressure on the side of the shaft. At the top of the golf swing, this golf club can be ripping as fast as you want to. I'm making my arm swing as fast as I want, but my wrists are doing this. See? So any of these kinds of things you want to do, and you can see, so all I'm going to do now, hopefully I'm in frame, is let the weight on a string swing around my body, my golf club going right down the line. You can see I take a lot of time over the ball. My arms hang. Just like so. And all I'm doing now is feeling this weight on a string feel and letting it swing around my body and putting it down the target line like so. <clears throat> I'm in Vessi little tennis shoes, not even in golf shoes or anything. I'm just letting this thing swing around my body and around my body. And all those are pretty good. So I hope that helps. Swing the club. This thing is responding. Your body is responding. I'm not trying to turn or do all those things. It was fun. Come see me out at Country Hills for a golf lesson. Again, I'm doing Zoom online lessons. You guys want to contact me for that. That's been, that's been great. And uh, I look forward to helping everyone that I can. If you have any questions, I try to answer all comments and uh, go from there. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.